And I'm so glad I got you I love the things that we do We a family together Beam squad, we gon' ride Making the sunshine But in time we getting better And even when you don't try You make my heart smile We really came from the bottom And we going up I can never fall down Cause you hold me up There's no place in this world That got all this love Beam Squad, we gon' ride. We what, what it is, is, Beam Squad? It's your boy Billy B. It's your girl Eva. And today we're back with, with another video. Yeah, so finally we can tell you guys about our case. Yes, now that it's closed and nothing that we say can hurt us, nothing that we do can hurt us anymore. Um, so for those of you that don't know or didn't know, in February 2019, we were indicted. Yes. Um, we were indicted by the feds where we pleaded guilty to two charges, two counts, mm -hmm. um, conspiracy and identity theft. Um, what I did in 2014, I allowed illegal money to come into my bank account. At the time, I didn't care where it was from, who it was from, how it was getting there. Yeah. I was broke and I needed money and I told myself that I needed to like support my kids. So whatever I had to do, I had to do. You know, yeah. and the same for me. I was, you know, stealing identities to, you know, to make money. That was my hustle back then. I was, you know, I wouldn't say I didn't know what I was doing. I knew what I was doing was wrong, but it was just I needed money. I was struggling around that time, and I needed a way to make money. And I knew, it was, you know, it's like you know, not saying it. it's like saying it's, it's selfish. It was, it's a selfish. Yeah, thing it's to a do. selfish thing to do. We used to justify it by saying things like. The government has a big insurance. Yeah, if you I take never, it, they'll get it back. Exactly. And then we both win. The person get their money back, I get yeah. this, and it's a win-win situation. Yeah. So we never looked at it as we or we were taking from the, the people, like from people. We always thought like we're taking from the government or the government whatever, has, and the government is gonna pay it back. That's and the what, government has unlimited funds. So. That's what you know, because we thought you know they make the money, so they're gonna pay it back regardless. That was them. We That's really, that was our um, mindset, mindset back, back then. That was being young and dumb, you know, and reckless. and reckless, and it got us into this position that we are in now. So, and the reason why, like, it was in 2014 and 2015, right? And it, I think it ended. We decided that we didn't want to do that anymore. Basically, yeah. um, we started feeling like guilty. Guilty. Or, I just felt negative, and. We wanted to do better, basically. Like, we, yeah, wanted we wanted to change. to change. We wanted to do better. You know, I quit doing that stuff. I started to... I had got a... What? Well, I had got a job. I had got a security job. I started doing Uber while I was doing security at night. I did Uber and during the day. We went broke um, a couple times. We went broke a couple times. Because um, we was dumb, not we, saving money, we just was not spending. Doing dumb stuff, you know. And Eva... Was, I was baking. She was baking, trying to make her little side money. I was doing... Like you said, Uber. Uber and um, the security job. And then she was begging me to do YouTube. Starting me to, you know, begging me to do YouTube. And I was like, nah, you nah. thought she was like, I don't know what I was doing. like, I was not in the mindset to do it. Like, I was not, because the, my, my living situation wasn't all that good. And I was like, I didn't want to put myself on camera at the time. I didn't want to do none of that stuff. So, you know, it, it came to a time where, you know, I gave in and she kept telling we can do this, we can do this. And I had already had, um, you know, editing skills already. Mm -hmm. So I was mm -hmm. like, you know what, let me just put the editing skills to, to use. And then... We let, just did 360. And we just started doing YouTube and, you know, we did things it. started changing for us ar around that time. But, you know... And the reason in, some, in the last video, I kept saying this was five years ago, this was five years ago. Yeah. It's because, like, I wanted... I wanted to like I want to make it clear that we weren't scamming while doing YouTube. while you doing YouTube that and trying to act like we live a whole nother life like living nah. a double life and we never we didn't have we was not smart enough or we was not it was just dumb we was not smart enough to save our money long enough to be able to afford the life that we live now we didn't use any of the legal money to live this life and that's why we weren't we didn't have, they didn't seize our house. They didn't seize any of our cars. Yeah, they didn't seize anything. They didn't seize anything. Because everything was legit. Everything's legit. They couldn't take those from us because yeah. everything was legit. We worked for that. You know, so. But anyway, so 
we did a 360, we changed our life. So in 20, 2019 came, long story short, I was pregnant. Um, I don't know where, we didn't know who was being investigated. Yeah, we didn't know anything. For the, for the past, what, three years? I mean, four years? I don't know. We was, we just didn't know. We, we, just we didn't know. Life, we just living our life and then... That life just, just was so far. It was like a bleep in time. It was like old. It was just like not us anymore. Yeah. It just felt so good to, you know, do... Everything right. Everything right. Like, it just felt so, so good, you know. When people used to ask me, like, what do you do for a living? I would be so happy to say I'm a, I'm a I mean, content creator. I do videos on YouTube. Before, I couldn't say that. Like, yeah. I was always in the shadows trying to hide doing this paranoia. you know paranoia it comes with a lot and i didn't want to live that type of lifestyle anymore so you know having a kid and yeah having our messiah having messiah basically changes. changed our whole mindset you know you know and we started on the up grind yeah we just started to change our life you know i, I know we struggled too because i know you guys saw like when we was doing youtube some of you guys saw our couch yeah, I used to rank our couch all the time, mm -hmm. talk bad about how ugly it was and why we don't just buy a new one. You know, yeah, because we, we didn't have money around that time. We didn't have money around that time. We, we, things went bad for us. We moved into Billy's mom, and we still kept grinding. We never stopped grinding. We tried hard, and we was able to move into this house here. Yeah. And that's when really things started really getting good for us. Mm -hmm. And we started spoiling ourselves more. Right? Yeah. And anyway, so February 2019, we got indicted. Eventually, we decided to take a plea, and now, Monday, two days ago... Yeah, we got sentenced. We got sentenced. You know, uh, so basically, I got two years, and Ivani got one year. I got a year and a day. She has a year and a day. Which is... It's crazy. I'm thankful, because, guys, we were facing seven to eight years. Yeah, we were facing seven to eight. You know, I'm just, I'm just thankful... For, for for the outcome, it, it's it's either, either way is good. At the end of the day, the way I, the way I see it, because we did bad, and yeah. when you do negative things, you can't expect not to get a negative yeah. outcome. We knew this was gonna happen. We knew we was gonna yeah. get time. Because we put negative energy into the world, you know, and eventually that energy is gonna come back some way or another. I'm thankful for yeah, I'm thankful our too. lawyers, like the whole team that stood behind us. Our manager, without him. We wouldn't be prepared for anything. Like, yeah, for the, for, our managers. For everything. And it's like, just so you guys know, um, our sentence is staggered. So that basically means Billy's going to go do his time first. Yeah, I'm going to do my time first. And then when I get out. And you're done and with your sentence. When I'm done with everything. Um, I go in. Yvonne for goes in year 30 days after, you. after I come home. And, and she does her year or however long. 10 months or whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. She does her, her whole full year and then she'll be done. And then... And then it's up from there. Yeah. Um, so there's so much more to this story. And we do... We did document everything that we were going through. The ups and the downs. And yeah, we did. Like, there's, there's way much more to the story that we're going to share with you guys soon. But, like... Right now, I, I just want to focus on the, like the, a few things. We like you. We did pay the government back, right? Yes, we paid back. We paid the government back, and you know, there's some stuff that's going. Oh, well, you have yeah. Said the, that. No, I didn't talk about that. There's stuff going on online, rumors, other people's channels making videos, lies. Um, I don't care about what no, nobody say, especially lies and rumors and all that stuff because. At the end of the day, the most important people to, to me calls me mommy. So that's who I'm focused about. And that's who I'm trying to make sure I make sure life is great for. I got to yeah. make sure their life is great for them, regardless of, you know, not being with us for a while. And that's like, that's the toughest part. Yeah. We're not going to get deported, you guys. We both are American citizens. Yes. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do for two years. Without me. Without you, that's going to be that's going to be the tough part. Because, I know. Like, uh, for like we've been together for eleven years now, me and you. And yeah, don't cry, me. You may go. Don't do it. Yeah. So, I think we only broke up. We've been apart from each other for like seven months. Only. Yeah, that was the 
even with the seven months, we're, we're still, still talk, together, talking still. to each other and stuff. But wait, don't cry. It's we're like, gonna, it's we're like gonna you, get you say, you, we hear something I, so tough and like it's I, not this, it's sad. It is sad, but you know, yeah, I don't know. Okay. I'm not worried about Sia no more because I expected, what I expected from him, he's been proving me different. Like every day, like we just been realizing how stronger how strong he is and like the way we thought mm -hmm. he shows totally different and he's stronger than me I know that it's because he's a kid but anyways you guys I want to thank you guys too because I got we have so much support and so much to show the judge because of you guys like so much positive, positive words, words from you guys and it helped all the people like all our family and friends that wrote us letters, thank you, because that all helped. I even wanna thank the judge for being fair, and because like there's some judges that would not care about who we became, mm -hmm. or it, it wouldn't even matter if we had good lawyers, they would've threw the book at us regardless, no matter what. And the fact that he allowed us to be able to, one of us to be home with the kids at a time. Yeah, we're thankful for that. We thank, we for thank, that. We thank him for that. Um, I gotta thank God because if if it was it if it didn't come into our hearts to change and to become better people we wouldn't be, we wouldn't we would have been gone forever yeah, we, probably, we and, wouldn't be here right now and most importantly even though we feel like yeah if it, they came five years after I'm so grateful for that because Melly wouldn't be here if they came before that Melly mm -hmm. would not be here. The baby would not be here. We wouldn't be able to build our empire, have something to fall back on, if anything. Yeah. Like, we wouldn't be, you guys would never be a thing. Beam Squad would never be here. So, everything happens for, for a reason. reason. Yep. And you guys literally watched us come up on YouTube. You guys are watching us go through the worst, one of the worst times of our lives. And eventually, you guys are going to continue watching as we make it through this because I'm going to still upload. I love you doing YouTube. It's my life now. Yeah. It's like I find peace and just I, I'm never gonna stop. Yeah. And Saya loves doing YouTube and he calls us lazy when we he doesn't know like we're having a sad day. He calls us lazy. Like you guys need to come on. It's just crazy, y'all. So yeah, it's just been a roller coaster, guys. So again, thank you for all your support. We love all of you guys so yeah. much. We don't keep pushing. And yeah. this is the, like the, the last time I'm not we're gonna like this is the t the last time we talk about this. Yeah. This is the end of it for us. Mm, yeah. And until like you Billy said our documentary that we've been recording, um, we're not talking about this case anymore. It's over. Yeah. I just couldn't wait for it to be over. And yeah. we got our faith. We got judged. Yeah. We've been forgiven. And we get to continue on with our lives now. Mm -hmm. And we'll deal with this. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm sad though. I'm mm -hmm. scared. I know we are. But yeah. But everything's gonna be alright. You know, we just gotta get through these times and then, you know, continue with our life. We and family together. Yeah. Beam squad, we gon' ride. Making the sunshine. But in time, we getting better. Yeah. We really came from the bottom and we going up. going up I can never fall down cause you hold me